Hello. Today we're going to be talking about adding vCenter as a cloud provider within Nutanix Calm. This will allow you to provision and manage your applications on your VMware infrastructure. So here I am within Prism Central under the Calm tab. Left side, we're in the settings section. I'm going to go ahead and add setting, change the drop down to VMware, and then name it. Next, I'm going to put in the server IP. And then the, the username for that vCenter server. And the password for that user. And finally, the port. Uh, the default port uh, for vCenter is 443. That is configurable, so there's a possibility it's different in your environment, but most likely it's 443. So now that we saved it, we're going to select a data center. I only have one data center in this vCenter. Uh, if you have multiple, just go ahead and select which one you, you want. You can always add that same vCenter multiple times and choose different data centers. All right, we save it, and now let's hit verify. All right, we're verified. So the next step we need to do is go ahead and tie that into a project. So we're going to create a project. Just call it demo, and down here under the VMware dropdown, we're going to select that vCenter we just added. We'll hit save, and finally, we're going to configure the environment. This allows us to deploy marketplace apps, and also when we go to the Blueprint Canvas, we can clone from the environment, and it'll save us some time, so we only have to enter these things in once. Instead of selecting a specific host to deploy onto, I'm going to choose DRS mode and select my Lone Wolf cluster. Next, I'm going to select my VM template to base things off of. In a previous video, we set this uh, CentOS template up. So we're going to choose that. And finally, storage pod, uh, Nutanix Lone Wolf. Uh, this storage pod just consists of a single uh, Nutanix storage container that's on that Lone Wolf cluster. Instance name. So I'm just going to name this VM, uh, Calm Array Index, Calm Time. These are macros to keep things unique. Uh, most like on specific blueprints, we'll overwrite this VM, but that's a good placeholder. Uh, specify the number of uh, CPUs and memory that, that works for you. Here are the template disks. We see these is based off the, uh, the template that we created in a previous video. We don't need to add any extra VDisks. Uh, we already have the template NIC. So for the guest customization, the host name, we're just going to do, I'm going to copy and paste up here and put the same host name in. Select the time zone that's appropriate for you. And we do need to add a network setting. Uh, we're going to use DHCP for this. Uh, DNS, I'll just use Google's DNS. And we do want to add a credential. So this is going to be based on your template. So there I added the credentials for my template that we set up previously. We'll hit save. And that's it. Now we're ready to start using uh, vCenter as a cloud provider with Nutanix Calm. Thanks for your time today.